A few videos ago, we covered calculating basic rafters for a simple gable roof. That's simple because simple gable roofs have rafters that are all the same. That's what makes them simple. Hip roofs are more complicated. Not only do we need the common rafter length, but we also need lengths for two other types of rafter. Hip rafters, which connect the ridge to the corners, and jack rafters, which are modified common rafters connecting the hips to the wall plates. The bottom of a jack rafter is just like a common rafter, but the length and bevel direction varies. Hips have a lower pitch than common rafters because they cover a longer distance for the same height. For this reason, it's easier to walk up and down hips and valleys than straight up or down the roof. You can determine the hip pitch by looking at your speed square or calculating it on a construction calculator. There are two scales on a speed square, commons and hip val, which means hips and valleys. We'll talk about valleys later, but you can see a 612 on a common scale is a little under 27 degrees. Brr. A 612 on a hip val scale is a little under 20 degrees. Talk about the cold shoulder. With different geometry, you need to make sure the roof doesn't come out looking humpy. Misaligned hips are usually caused by high heels. Wait a minute, let me try that again. The heel height of hips must match that of common rafters, otherwise the hips will be humpy. Okay, let's run through the calculations and see if we can rise to the challenge of perfect pitch. To get the common rafter dimensions, we need to know the run and pitch. So punch 14 feet, 11 inches, one quarter, and run. Then push six inch and pitch. Hit diagonal to get 16 foot eight and seven sixteenths, which is the common rafter length, excluding the tail. So from the face of the ridge board to the outside of the wall sheathing. To find the hip length, punch hip V. That's the hip and valley length. Again, excluding the tail, so 22 feet, 4 and 7 eighths inches. If you punch hip V again, you get the plumb cut angle, 19 and a half degrees, and punching it again gives you the level cut, or the seat cut, which is a much more civilized temperature. To find the jack rafter lengths, we're going to start punching the jack button. Punch it once to get the rafter spacing. 16 inches on center is the default. If you like that number, keep punching jack. If you don't like it, pick another one. Punch it again to get the difference in length of each jack rafter, and punch it again to get the length of that first rafter, which will be 15 foot 2 and a half inches. You can keep punching it to get every other jack rafter length until you get down to the corner where the length is zero. Don't forget to write those numbers down because we're going to start laying out and cutting rafters in the next video.